A lot of people, including myself, <laughs> are waking up sore today after uh, hours and hours of shoveling. That's right, or minutes. That happens too. <laughs> It'll be another day of digging out across the area, no matter where you live. The storm dumped the second highest amount of snow on record in the Lehigh Valley. Take a look for yourself. Look at the rough situation that our northern neighbors are dealing with. You can see how much snow people are trying to clear off in Allentown. They saw more than two feet. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal has much more on their historic snow totals and also the big day of cleanup. A light snow falling again here in Allentown this morning on the fourth day of this storm system shouldn't lead to too much more accumulation. It is dusting on surfaces. The problem is for people like this driver who still need to dig out and the colder weather means the snow has gotten a lot icier, harder to shovel. That's going to be a problem for so many people. Others have done a good job clearing their cars and even uh, their driveway spaces here so they can safely get out. The problem facing too many neighborhoods, though, are these side streets. Allentown city officials urging people not to leave abandoned vehicles in the street. They've been having a problem with that. Also issues with people taking all of this snow and throwing it onto already plowed streets so traffic can't get through. Uh, the snow should die down later today, but again, the cleanup is going to take days here in the Lehigh Valley. In Allentown, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News. All right, and thanks to Randy there. Now we're going to turn to Philadelphia, which is also dealing with a lot of mess to clean up as well. Yes, yeah, snow is just piled up along the yeah. sidewalks and still covering a lot of the side streets there too. NBC 10 was on the scene at Rising Sun Avenue and Borbeck Avenue and Fox Chase. Look as people uh, got a head start. They were shoveling around midnight in the dark to try to clean up all that snow. Wow. Shoveling out is, is going to keep people busy across the city today. NBC 10's Miguel Martinez Valle is in South Philadelphia where crews have been working really hard to clear those roads. If you're in the Italian market where it's going to be a long morning of cleanup after the storm. So right now you can see some of these cars still covered in snow. The snow emergency in Philadelphia, it is over, but now people will have to dig themselves out. And as for the Italian market stands here, uh, people woke up early to get the ice off, get the snow off of their stands and to set up. They've been closed for two days. They are back open right now. Uh, now you can see over here some of the biggest challenges today are going to be the icy roads, the slushy conditions. So if you are going to go out, make sure that you are being slow and being safe. But this is what the scene looks like now as they're getting ready to open. I'm Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. You probably heard a lot of that sound yesterday, but if you did not have a snowblower, Good old fashioned shovels do the trick. Some hard work too in Camden. Take a look guys. It's not all work after the storm. Leave it to the kiddos to help us find the fun. <laughs> there you go all the way down the hill. We found these kids having a blast down the Laurel Acres Hill. That's in Burlington County. The lineup is streaming now on the free NBC 10 app on Roku and Apple TV. Download the app today to watch.